If we have to find out the square root of x, where x is any positive real number, it has to be greater than zero, and you have to find it out geometrically, then how will we do this? For that, first draw a line segment AB, which has the length of which has a length x units. From B, extend this line segment up to C, and uh, the length of this line segment BC should be equal to one unit. Now, find out the midpoint of AC, and let's say that the midpoint of AC is O. From this, we can say that measure of OA is equal to measurement of OC is equal to measurement of AC by two. Why? Because O is the midpoint, therefore OA is equal to OC is equal to half of AC. From this, tell us what will be the well, what will the length of OA and OC? This will be equal to x plus 1 by 2. How? What is the length of AC? AC is what? AB plus BC. AB is x, BC is 1. So x plus 1 unit, x plus 1 unit and by 2. Therefore, this is the length of OA and OC. Now, this next thing you have to do is taking O as a center and OC as a radius or OA as a radius, draw a semicircle like this. Next thing, taking this B as the point and from this point draw a line segment that intersects this semicircle D and it has to be perpendicular. So this BD should be perpendicular to AC and we have drawn this. If you measure this length BD, that is that will give you the square root of X. Now this gives us the square root of X. You'll ask that what's the proof that this is square root of X? So let's see the proof. If we take O as a point and connect this OD, now from this triangle OBD, from triangle OBD, from triangle OBD, OD squared is equal to OB square plus BD squared, the Pythagoras theorem, right? Now, if you try to find out this value of OB, if you try to find out this value of OB, then what is that? We know that OB is actually what? OB is actually AB, AB minus OA, AB minus AO, OA or AO, whatever you want to say it. So AB minus OA will give you OB. AB minus OA will give you uh, OB. What's AB? AB is X units minus. What's OA? OA is X plus 1 by 2 from here. So X plus 1 by 2. If you solve it, you will get, this is 2X minus X, you will get X plus uh, 2X, X minus 1 by 2. If you solve it, if you take the LCM, you'll get 2x minus x, that is x, and then minus 1. So x minus 1 by 2, right? This is x minus 1 by 2. So OB is equal to x minus 1 by 2. So write it here, x minus 1 by 2 and whole squared, right? Plus, what's BD? What is BD? So in this case, we don't know BD. So simply write it as BD squared because we have to find it out and then we'll show that BD is actually square root of X. What's OD? OD is also the radius, right? OD is also the radius. So OD will be equal to what? OA or OC because OA is the radius, OC is the radius and OD is also radius. Therefore, this is equal to OD. OD is what? X plus one by two. Write it as X plus one by two and this is whole squared. So this is whole squared. So from here, if you solve it, this is x plus 1 whole squared and then this is 2 squared and from here, if you subtract it, this becomes x minus 1 whole squared and this is 2 squared is equal to bd squared. Right, so this is basically what two squared means four. Two squared means four. So four is common. You, if you take the LCM, this is four. Now x squared plus two x plus one. X is 
is a plus b whole squared formula a squared plus 2ab so 2ab means 2 times x times 1 2x plus b squared means 1 then minus keep this within the bracket this is x squared minus 2x which formula a minus b whole squared a minus b whole squared is what a squared minus 2ab plus b squared so in this case a is what x so x squared minus 2 a is what x and b is what 1 then plus b squared means what 1 is equal to b d squared from here you get b d squared is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus x squared plus 2x minus 1 we have opened the bracket and then this is 4 so from here you get b d squared as this gets cancelled and you get 4x divided by 4 from here this is b d squared is equal to x b d squared is equal to x now since b d squared is equal to x it means that if you take the square root on both the sides or we know that if if a is equal to b squared if a is equal to b squared it means that b is the square root of a it means that this b is the square root of a that is if you take the square root then this will give you b if a is equal to b squared we have learned this when we this when we were discussing about a square root so if a is equal to b squared it means that the square root of a is equal to b it's like if 4 is equal to 2 squared it means that square root of 4 is equal to 2 right same thing so if bd squared is equal to x it means that bd is equal to square root of x so from here bd is equal to square root of x and we have shown it it means that if someone asks you that uh, if x is equal to 3.5 or let's say 4.5 you have to find the square root of 4.5 geometrically then what will be the first step the first step will be that first draw ab whose length is 4.5 units right then from this uh, uh, extend this line segment from b to c whose unit is one unit and then you have to repeat that draw the semicircle sorry first find the uh, midpoint that is O from this midpoint O take the radius as OC draw the semicircle then from this mid from this point B draw a perpendicular line segment that intersects the semicircle at D and that should be perpendicular to AC okay from that you can calculate this value the method will be same that you have to draw these x units and one unit x units will be the value that is given here in this case it is 4.5 it can be 10.5 or 11.5 anything next thing now since you have we have you have learned how to find the square root geometrically last important point is that if you have to locate it on uh, you know on a number line if you have to locate this under a uh, square root of x on the number line then how would you do this so for that you do it what you have to do is take this extend this line segment extend this line segment like this okay you have to assume that now it's actually a number line now it's actually a number line let's say that this is a number line okay where your o will be at zero Remember the number line concept? We have a number line where we have 0, then 1, then 2, minus 1, then minus 2, right? So same thing, the concept of number line or the real number line. So this will be 0. Now since this is 1 unit, so C will be at 1, right? Okay. Now what you have to do is, you have to do is that Take this OD as a radius, take this, sorry, BD as a radius, let me take some, 
BD as the radius and BD as the radius draw an arc draw an arc that should intersect on this number line okay let's say that it intersects here let's say that this point is L so this BL this BL where B is actually the point zero right on the number line this BL is what will give you square root of X again you have to assume that it's a number line B means that it is zero zero point on the number line C means what it as it is at a distance of one unit because it's already we have taken it as one unit BD as a radius draw an arc that intersects this number line at L so this length BL will be the square root of X if you have to represent it on number line this is B L right so these are the two important points that we had to discuss.